Ken from Cleveland here. I've been watching these January 6 hearings, and it's got me thinking a lot about patriotism. I grew up in a military family, third generation military pilot myself, and we almost always had an American flag flying outside our house. But it feels different now. The way extremists on the right have covered themselves in the language and the symbols of patriotism, pretending like they own it, when most of them have no clue what real patriotism is. You see it in the hearings and in the pictures from January 6th, the way American flagpoles were used as weapons or, or how the Confederate flag, which represents the opposite of patriotism, was being waved alongside the flag I fought for and paraded through the halls of Congress. With all that in the air, it's getting harder to be unapologetically patriotic. It's almost as if the flag itself has changed. I've got friends who, when they see a pickup truck flying a giant American flag off the back, they get nervous. And I don't blame them, because we're at this place as a country where political violence is a thing again. And the extreme right has done an incredibly effective job taking over the conversation about patriotism. When I was growing up, a crowd chanting USA was celebrating something. It was an inclusive thing. There was joy in it. Today, nine times out of 10, a crowd chanting USA is angry about something or they're threatening someone. Rewatch the tapes of the January 6th riots or honestly, any Trump rally, and you'll see what I mean. And all of this is happening while basic rights are being stripped away. I remember just this past 4th of July, after Roe v. Wade was overturned, realizing that my kids are going to have fewer rights than my generation did. And there's this feeling in my house, and I know a lot of others share it, that it's, it's just getting harder to express patriotism in the ways we used to. So it's tempting to say, fine, they can have it. I don't need a flag to prove I love my country. Which is true. There are a lot of ways to show one's patriotism. And believe it or not, I think even taking a knee can do that. But I'm not going to let the extremists define what patriotism is. They can't have that. America is far from perfect, but it's the promise of America we should be fighting for. That's real patriotism. Which means it's super important for people like me, white, male, and privileged, to rethink the patriotism we grew up with. In my case, it was patriotism born of gratitude. I joined the Navy because I was grateful for everything my country had given me. I learned in the Navy that the promise of America is not doled out equally or fairly. So many people I served alongside joined, not because of everything the country had done for them, but because they were demanding their country do better, demanding that America live up to its promise. And that is the kind of patriotism I aspire to, acknowledging that America is imperfect, but worth fighting for. I sure am not going to give the extremists, the insurrectionists, a pass on abusing this flag and what it should represent. That's it. Let's get to work.